Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to film just a get ready with me style video and what I'm going to be doing is just my everyday makeup look but I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks and tips and tricks on how to save time as well as look the best. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat um, foundation. And my first tip here is if you don't want to use a foundation or you don't have a lot of time to use a foundation then you can just use um, a BB cream and this is the Garnier BB cream. Now something that I don't do on an everyday basis is highlight underneath my eyes but what I do like to do is to still take some of my foundation and apply that under my eyes where I would highlight because although I don't need that illuminating effect I still do have bags under my eyes so I need to just cover them up but not necessarily um, now I'm going to zoom you guys in quickly just to show you my um, finish that I have with my foundation. When I do like an everyday look or a, can I say, quick look, I don't necessarily focus on getting full coverage. So you can still see um, my freckles, you can still see where I've got like a scar on my nose. So I'll just show you guys quickly what I mean. I don't know if you guys can see, but you can still see my freckles, my scar, um, you know, just little things that show that it's not full coverage, so it's still kind of natural looking. Okay, now I'm going to use my um, Studio Fix powder by MAC. Again, this is a powder foundation, and I use it to set my face because I tend to get oily. So I use a powder foundation instead of just a normal powder because it helps keep my makeup looking fresher for longer. However, it is important that you don't use too much of this because if you use too much of a powder foundation to set a liquid foundation, it will get very cakey and then there's not much you can do about cakey foundation. I'm going to use my MAC bronzing powder in medium and I don't necessarily contour it every day but today I'm going to because I do have a little more time but if you're not going to contour then I still recommend at least bronzing your face because what foundation tends to do is it tends to remove those natural shadows and contours and high peaks of your face that's why we contour and highlight so what I'm going to do is I am going to contour and then show you a little bit of a bronzing technique If you're not going to contour, then I'll show you now. Instead of just doing this by contouring, you're going to need to work and just bronze. So where you contour and make this line and that carve out your cheekbone, if you don't have time, then I would recommend just doing what I'm doing right now and just defining that apple. So this here is kind of, it forms a high point. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour. And then if I didn't have time, I would con I would just define that apple. When you contour though, you do def you do contour and define your apple. But if you don't have time to contour, then all you need to do is just make sure that you at least define that apple of your face. And then what I do is I just take it around my forehead just to balance out. Under my chin again to balance out. And if you do have time or you have problem with your nose and you can just down the sides and then on those natural shadows. Now if you do have time I would recommend using a much smaller brush than this to contour your nose so I would use like a brush like this 
paste that I use for eyeshadow to actually carve out my nose but I don't have time for that today and I'm not really bothered so I'm not going to do that now my next tip is using your bronzing powder as an eyeshadow so I'm just gonna take my blending brush dip it in and put this into my crease Again, what we're doing here is we're basically contouring our eyes just to give our eyes some more shape. So I'll show you in a second. If you look at this eye, compared to this eye, this eye has more shape and definition than this eye does. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Next, I'm going to use my MAC illuminator or mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle this is a highlighter and I'm going to use this on a fluffier brush and I'm going to use it just to highlight those high tops of my cheeks so where we mentioned where we sculpted out we're now going to highlight so although I don't liquid highlight so I use concealer to highlight I do still use my <clears throat> illuminators just to help accentuate the features of my face now tip number two is using that highlighter as your eyeshadow so what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to take my finger and just pick that up on my finger as you can see there and I'm going to apply it to my lid with my finger kind of blend that out with my finger. I'm just going to zoom you guys in quickly so you can see better what I'm doing. So I'm just going to apply with my finger and then smooth it and just gently blend it. So I'm here, I apologize for this hideous finger but I got hit while I was playing hockey and it like lead under my fingernail and it's taking forever to grow out so please my fingers aren't dirty or anything it's just because I got hit while I was playing hockey don't forget to bring this into that inner corner just to help open up your eyes but the blush I'm going to use is called Dainty from MAC and I'm just going to use this type of brush just to put this on the apples of my cheek Quickly. When babe makes me hot chocolate. Next, I am going to do my eyebrows. It is so important if you literally have skipped all of the steps thus far and just put foundation on to at least do your eyebrows. Your eyebrows shape and frame your face. So it's very important to have shaped and defined eyebrows. I'm just going to take my spoolie, run through quick, pop off the other end and just fill them in. Nothing too dramatic, just a quick clean up and fill them. Just a subtle fill in just to make sure that my brows are shaped and defined and that's basically it for the face so what I'm going to do next I'm just going to apply my mascara and it's the Bonjour Luxury Lash Dramatic Volume unfortunately this specific mascara does take a little bit of time in the mornings because I'll show you quickly how the product sits on this wand can you guys See that. I don't know if you can see how the product has just clumped on this wand and like there at the end it's just it's just ridiculous and way too much so this if you use this right now and apply this mascara it's going to be clumpy and just a hot mess so what I do is I take some paper towel and I just dab and rub off those big not rub off but literally just dab off those big clumps 
and leave a lot of product of course don't rub off the entire product unfortunately this does waste a little bit but I'd rather waste a little bit than have clumpy lashes because then I wouldn't use this at all just apply your mascara If you want to, you can totally apply some eyeliner to your eyes, but I don't like wearing eyeliner every day, and this to me is a natural and quick look, so I prefer to just do this. Not to mention eyeliner, if you're in a rush, can literally ruin your whole look if you don't do it like precisely and accurately. So um, that's pretty much it for the eyes. If you want to, what I would recommend if you're feeling tired or it's a very early morning and you do this, I would recommend applying a illuminating or white eyeliner or eye pencil in your waterline. I'll show you quickly what I mean. Okay, I've literally looked everywhere and I can't find my illuminating um, eye pencil, but here is an example of a white eyeliner. This is just the next. Um, eye pencil, you can use it as a primer or as an eyeliner, this is a jumbo eye pencil by the way. And that's literally just plain white. Um, you can apply this to your waterline just to make you look more awake. Um, and refresh. So now the last thing to do is to just apply some lipstick or lip gloss or whatever you feel like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a lipstick by Revlon. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Um, it just looks like this. And it is in the shade Seduction. Um, this is just a one type applicator. I'm not going to use lip line or anything, it's not necessary. Um, because we're doing a nude lip. I really like this lipstick because it's very long wearing. The colour is opaque and gorgeous and it smells amazing and this is going to sound really weird but it tastes like sweets. Like I know you're not supposed to eat your lipstick but sometimes I can't help but just and then I get a bit of a taste. Um, tastes great, smells great, looks great, lasts long. So to me those are big four that I'll make or break for a lipstick. So that is basically my finished, my finished look, my how to get ready, super quick tips and tricks and then just an everyday natural look. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate your support. My links to all my social media will be down below in the description box. And I'll show you guys a close-up of your makeup in a second. watching please subscribe and i will see you guys soon bye